What is up, you beautiful human beings? Hope you guys are doing really well. This is episode four. I think it's episode four. Um, yeah, man. Last episode we did the heist. I lied to Dex. I died. I died horribly. Jackie died too. Um, yeah. Then we met Johnny. I think his name is Johnny Keanu Reeves. So, um, let's go. I'm still upset, man. Ben, we can talk. How much do you want for it? You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. What curled up your ass? You? No. <laughs> Johnny, wait up. Don't do this. You could still change your mind. Oh. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. <laughs> Gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. Oof. You're late. <laughs> no, what the other one? Get him. Silverhand. Hey, shameless. Get us in the air. Here, put this on, and it stays on. Got it? Yes, ma'am. I like it, you feisty. She's actually pretty too. Is that Judy? No. Target range of fire. Make it rain. Ba 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 ba. Is the guy hitting anything? Why don't we hit him? Much better, mate. Right? Let's get rid of this torrent. Yeah, can we just like appreciate the the flyer. I don't. I think these guys know that we're coming in. Tower crumbles, chaos, screaming, roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. Is grass green? Do birds fly? Do cats eat bats? Do rats shit gnats? Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on. Evac announcement. Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. 
Who wrote this manifesto? Uh, uh Red Pontius? Jesus, Johnny, you've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. I need to say a word and I'm getting absolutely destroyed. I like this. I like it. It's a revolver? See ya, homie. Ashido 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got a delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite's incoming! There, Run for it! I did, I did, I left. Shoot the cables! Me? Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about Arasaka. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? Not like you could ever understand, Rogue. You're on your own. Giving you four fucking minutes if you want to ride out of here. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. All right. Thank you, Spider. The world loves me. Well, it's a one-hit kill, eh? I'm busy, homie. You got anything? to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to quote unquote topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor Imbole Ebunike has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully cool. he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. Now get out of there. Let's get out of here. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. I'm assuming there's gonna be something. Johnny A running. Murphy. Door sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny. Johnny Make ran? Johnny made it? Oh. Shotty, no! Johnny boy, told you I'd end you someday. Well, is everyone dying now? Am I just supposed to die everywhere? I'm just so sad. Uh. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, let me tell you. How did you acquire fistful material? Yep. Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something. Uh, I want to see away from Johnny, but I don't think I can. Oh. Which terrorist organization do you belong to? I don't belong to any terrorist organization. How did you acquire fistful material? I don't know. <laughs> Boss, don't look too pleased with your efforts. <laughs> Let's see. Just let's just. What's up, Shadi? My husband died in that tower. I'm sorry. But there are fates worse than death. Oh, that's one way to go out, right? I didn't want him to die. Naze Komoyonakoto. Why did you do this? Bring an end to the madness, you freak. Ooh. Hitowa uso tsuki. Jibun jishin mo azamuku. Daga sha wa chiga. Sha wa yuben daga. Kare ra wa keshite uso wo tsukanai. Shisha no kotoba ni ga tsutsumashi sa ga aru. I miss V. What are they teaching me? Oh, it's me. I've lost him. And you? Who are you? I don't know. Was so I just thrown out in the dumpster? Playing the virtual world? My legs working? Yeah. I didn't think that this game would have different characters like, I thought like, oh, I made my character V. <laughs> my character dead, bro. Guy. 
Ugh, heavier than he looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this Woo! Yay! Thank you. Can I take a picture of Dex? Not without all that crap, okay. I'm just gonna say the word. <laughs> At least I get a ride. He said I smelled bad and then he smiled at me. Okay. You hear me? I need your help. So you see, whatever that thing is, is really good. He shot too. I was gonna say, bad choice of car. I want my revolver back. I wonder if that does anything, eh? No? Alright, fine, you got bulletproof tires, okay. Smack him into the... Yeah, do that. There's a lot going on in here. Please tell me I can take a picture. Sorry guys. I'm trying on me. Yep. Cool. Wait, I'm V? We both could use medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? You... You were... at... Becky Plaza. We must get to Ripadoc. Quickly. Victor will fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Wait, V? Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Um, pick me up. I need to get to Misty's esoteric in front of Vic's 
Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! I'm so confused. Is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, <laughs> though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the bell by mistake, he will die. Okay. As he will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. I'm so confused. I switched to Johnny. Let's get him inside. Oh, oh, that makes so much sense. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty. I thought I was dead. Pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of. I know what I'm doing. I love Victor. He's my he's my homie. Okay, I'm going to pause it here just so I can explain a few things because this is what I think is going on even though I have absolutely no idea what's going on. So we start with Johnny. Johnny goes, Johnny dies by that guy, uh, Smasher, right? But then uh, we turn to me getting pulled out of the dumpster trying to walk to get free to then Dex dying and then me being saved. So... V is still alive, which is pretty cool. Jackie is it? Which is okay. X is dead though. <laughs> what sort of things going on? Jackie, I can't pay you. I don't know if they stole my money. I mean, not Jackie. I miss Jackie already. Victor. V, you in there? Yeah. <gasps> my head. How you feeling? I don't know, Vic. Ears are ringing. But I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. Their illusions, Johnny. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plan a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. It was too real, even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. As a personality construct on that shard, dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. You mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head? 
right now. That's right, Johnny Silverhand. At his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? His doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. <laughs> Comedian. Top the terrorist in my brain. The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. It's a lot. V, it's important you get all this. Yeah, just ask him if he fixes it me. Fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? I actually want the long. Yeah, all of them. Don't admit a thing. Not one deep. Okay. There was, is, a construct. A psyche on the chip. That of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. Fuck. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna go with the logic. Don't just die and get up like nothing happened. Used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche? I'll make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is your mind's gonna go. And it won't be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part. It's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Actually, quick, I was thinking this, so can't we just can't remove we just it? Take the chip out or switch it off. Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Vic. You've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please, Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? Ah, uh, this is the first time I You're see her. too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. When I'm gonna talk about <laughs> It's rough, man. Emotional damage, hundred percent. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Please tell me I can leave. I want to take a picture of both of them, but... 
I'm not something to focus on. I don't think it's there. Let me let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. The effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Let's move Let's forward. Right down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep. Let's talk about it. Misty, wait. Uh, about Jackie. Yeah? I don't. I know I wanted to talk about it, but I don't. I'm not ready to talk about it. He talked about you. Like lots. We got into a fight. Right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Let's go to sleep. Ugh. That's crazy, eh? Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Just, uh, yeah. Let's talk to a stranger. Don't smoke. Then go out and get some. Just need... Who you work for, start talking. Fuck. Fuck. Oof. I guess it's just trying to live the journey. Chip. Rip the thing out myself. No way. Puts it back in. <laughs> oh. I'll take control. Oh. I'll find a way. Oh, he... You hear me? See you never, asshole. Now like that. Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. Why? You just die, homie. I can feel it. Our minds touch it. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Leave 
Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Really interesting. Look, I got a gaping hole in my chest because my friend died, alright? You gonna feel it or not? Just stand up. Act two, baby. There we go. All right, let's let's get out of here. Dear Mr. V, I would like to inform you that Mr. Wellis' body has been delivered to Victor's clinic in accordance with your instruction. Okay. I thought that was over with. I want to turn. No, not turn on, turn off. Now, let's change our clothes. Oh, we got some weapons, homie. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. What was that? Okay. But before we do that, can't right now. You're only hanging in there as it is. You may recall that I saved your life. I needed you to return the favor. Not me. I haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. I am waiting. You can wait. Mega Building H10 administration informs you that your vehicle is available for collection in the nearby parking garage. We wish you a pleasant day. I want to. Am I naked? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I am so sorry. Oh. Fine. We'll go barefoot. No, I can't still have my weapons though. Stuff, it's weird, man, but it's cool. Back a slice. Let's go figure out what this guy wants. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What did you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Ah. I'm thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Then it doesn't matter what I say. Exactly. You just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. <laughs> Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? I don't know. I don't think so, no. Can you expand? Yep. No matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings, by lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I do stink of skullduggery? <laughs> nope. You're starting to stink. I remember this guy. <laughs> I think that's the bodyguard. Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. 
Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge, much more feasible here. That's I true. have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. He's got a point. <laughs> you mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, and does Hellman escape to Arasaka? Betrayed it. everywhere hey i was listening to that shut up nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt what did you say you heard me let it go takamura hmm. at least one of you's got some fucking sense main men's aggressive Let's go. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Whoa, tip, tip, tip. Um... Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? So be curious, he I do want Avalon though. He was a man who led to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats oh, wait a minute. were hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Wait, wait, I was thinking about it when, when, when Jackie had to put the implant into his head. <laughs> she take you for a suit? Um, she saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. 
With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to doubt. Yeah, but... Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Yeah. Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Paka woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. All right, homie. Goodbye. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. All right, homie. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Helma. Please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Gonna kill him? Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Our sock is still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Leave me the fuck alone. You don't need to speak out loud to talk to me. My bad, mate. For me? Are you still upset about the other night? Homie! You tried to kill me. That. Well, I gave it some thought and changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Fuck off, you psychopath. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories think we're even nah, mate. and I've taken a step back looked at things think we might be able to help each other it's a good channel rogue. her and I go back to the stone age you're the ghost of Christmas past asshole any <laughs> friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone Johnny Silverhand died a legend nobody forgets that so you fucking know rogue what do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. All right, we've got a few things going. So, Evelyn, she said to, um, what's his name? Uh, she said, we'll check your vitals. So, don't quote me on this. We'll check your vitals and wipe your memory. So, maybe there is a way to get rid of it? Call Judy, optional. Find Evelyn at Lizzie's bar. Let's call Judy. Oh. number is temporarily unavailable. Please leave a message. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I feel sad now. So, you're never gonna guess what happened. Dex put a hit on me. I took a bullet. I died. I came back. All good until I realized I had a time bomb wedged in my brain. Feels like a goddamn movie plot. Got no idea what happened to you. Where you are, but... Hang tough, Mono. Oh, right. And I met Johnny Silverhand. Long story. Hey, you. Doubt you two get along. You always could smell bullshit a mile off. I love the fact that I can talk to him. I could call him and just update him. Uh, it's too soon, ladies and gentlemen. It is too soon. All right, man, we got upgrades, we got things. What time is it? I wanted to check my... Ju I, oh, yeah, I needed to call. Sorry, I got just distracted. <sighs> Judy. V? That you? Shit. Thought you were... Gone. Listen. Need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. 
When we meet, let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Call Judy optional. Meet with Judy. Alright. She's actually pretty far. I don't have a car. Hey, look. Mama, uh, I'm a sucker, everybody. Hey, haven't I seen you here before? No, shoddy. Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chu. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want us to do now? Beat some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know. You fled. I, I don't care. I just want my room back. You pissed me you out there? <laughs> Jude is embarrassing herself again. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to sit back Let here. It lie. Shut up, leave me alone. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. What the hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Bye, Suze. Take care. God bless. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? You need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. Caught some lead myself too. I don't think that's quite a yeah. Occupational hazard for you, Murray. <laughs> sure, I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. The writing's on your face. Oh, I'm desperate. Oh, what? She just walked. Okay, let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clipped during the heist is killing me. Albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. I know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Huh. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. Where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. Luxurious. Cool. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. 
Try to eat. No. All right, let's get out of here. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Bruh. All right. We will see you next time. Episode four. It's just so cool. Like I said earlier, it's just like a journey. And uh, I don't remember if it was this episode or the last episode, but it was just, it's, a, it's a journey, so it's going to take our time, rebuild the characters, get to know everyone, and I'm willing to go through that and just enjoy it. Peace and love, guys. Take care of yourselves. God bless.